We're concluding Sefer Shmos with Vayaka Pekude this coming week. And it's a summary of all the different aspects, kalim, fabric, and gold and silver of the Mishkan. And there's a Mishnah in Mesechus Shabbos that tells us that if a person builds on Shabbos a kol shu, an amount that's only a little bit, he's violated Shabbos, even a kol shu, the smallest building is a violation of Bona. And the Gemara asks, where do you find the Mishkan they built a kol shu? And the Gemara says in Shabbos Dav Kuf Dalet that if a worm made a hole in the wood, in the beams of the wall of the Mishkan, they'd plug that hole. Even if it was a tiny hole, they'd plug it. So Svas Emes asks the question, when it comes to the walls of the Mishkan and there's a little hole made by a worm, they just fill it in. But when it comes to the wood that was thrown in the Mizbeach and ultimately burned, Gemara tells us that they found the worm in those logs of wood, they throw it out. Why would it be different? If anything, it would be the opposite. That the logs of wood being thrown in his back, ultimately to be burned, if that can't take a worm hole, certainly the walls of the Mishkan, which went with Klaiso throughout the Midbar, which were somewhat more permanent. And the Sfas Emes answers simply that when it comes to the Mishkan, they covered the walls so you couldn't see where they plugged the hole. As opposed to the logs of wood, you were able to see the holes on the logs of wood. Perhaps in a deeper understanding of Svas Emes, what he means is that in the Mishkan, we don't look at people's holes. We don't look at people's sins. We don't look at people's shortcomings, their weaknesses. The Mishkan is meant to be a place that's safe, where everyone can feel comfortable. They can feel proud, strong about their accomplishments and their achievements. We cover everything up. And that was what the Mishkan represented. Everybody's invited to love every single Jew. And the Mishkan is supposed to be a lesson, a model, for how it should be outside the Mishkan as well. That whenever we encounter someone, no matter how many shortcomings, how many sins, how many things that they're wrong, we should be able to cover it up just like the Mishkan. Even if it's a big hole or a small hole, we focus on their strengths. We focus on their Selm El Kim. We think of how great they are. We think of how great they can become.